Hello, this is Erin from Birchville and Southgate Township Libraries. Today, we are going to take a look at some free services that offer resume templates. And these will allow you to plug in your own information. We're going to start with Word and Mac Pages actually operates the same way. So here I'm on my new document page. And this is also what opens up when you start Word. So here are a bunch of templates and I can actually narrow it down to just resumes and cover letters. And there are a bunch of different types so I can just kind of scroll through and pick one that appeals to me. I'm just going to select this one and then I can customize it for my own use. If there's something in here that just doesn't apply to me, I can go through and delete that out. Now, with the templates in Word, they tend to use tables for a lot of their formatting. You can come up here and see table tools already in this one. So that's something to remember when you're going in and you're actually adding more information. So to use the table, you would actually highlight all of the information in a section. And I recommend coming up here to the design feature and adding in the borders. And this is just temporary. So we're going to add in all the borders. And that just helps you visually see what you're dealing with. So here it looks like each row is a separate job title. So if you want to add another row, you click here and you come up to layout and you click you know, insert below. So now you have another row here where you could add another occupation and see it all lines up and it's all going to format correctly rather than trying to, you know, hit your enter bar and eyeball it and space it. So to get rid of these lines, what you'll do is then highlight, come back up to the design tab and undo your borders. So you would click no borders and then you have your format and it looks just like it did when you started. So that's a nice little shortcut to working with a template in Word. Now we're going to go over and look at templates in Google. Did you know that Google Drive actually offers templates for resumes? So if you come up here to the new tab, and Google Docs has some blank documents that you can also select from a template. And it brings up here right away some resume templates. So I'm just going to pick this one. And similar to in Word, you have some things that you can just plug in and it has some formatting here. So you would just type it up. And what's nice about Docs is that it's already saved in the cloud, so you can access it just anywhere. And that's how you use Google Docs and Google Templates to create a resume. Now, there is an online website that offers the service. It's called CV Maker. So here it is, and it does have a premium option, but you can also use it to create your, your resume for free. So you would come in, and then it has these tabs where you fill out your information, and you can add multiple job titles and fill in you know, your job duties and such. And then once you're ready, you can, you can do a quick preview 
and you can choose different styles. So this one's executive and this is what it will look like. Where it comes into play is to actually save your resume, you will need to create an account. But if you don't want to do that, you can just download your, your resume and you want to choose the page size as US letter and you want to choose PDF. Now do remember that you won't be able to make any changes on a PDF. So you want to make sure that you proofread all of the entries that you've made and again you can choose the style of your resume. And click OK and then it's ready to download and there it is. And then you can go ahead and just print that out. And once you have this, you can go ahead, you can save it to a flash drive, save it to your email, and you'll have a resume. And those are just a few resources that will allow you to create a resume for free. Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day everyone.